Easter eggs in video games cover a wide range of topics, from secret weapons to secret games, hidden messages to developer rants, out of bounds mysteries to the literal and to the wacky, weird, bizarre and what the f secrets that we may never truly understand. And today it is the latter portion that me and the brilliant Odd Header have chosen to concentrate on as we'll be bringing you a collection of some of the known and lesser known wackiest, craziest and most ridiculous Easter eggs that you can find and that we have mashed together to give you another episode of super secret Easter eggs in video games. A Medieval after completing several episodes in New Blood Interactive's first-person shooter in Medieval, it is when you are walking through the gateway that you will now have the opportunity to take a portal to Episode 6 known as the Arcade Expanse. But instead of doing just that, you should actually take a moment to have a look around, particularly at the back of this entrance where you will find you can jump into a body of water and discover another portal leading into the game's secret level. A level that has a number of traps and secrets of tricky obstacles to tackle before reaching one last and final room. Where you can help yourself to a shiny trophy of the legendary dope fish. But just as you pick it up and add it to your collection, you will activate a boss fight bringing you in contact with New Blood's amusing in-house joke, the Wee John Clan, who will all taunt you into killing them using Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous lines from the 1987 movie Predator. <laughs> Next up is Coffee Stain Studios' 2013 first-person shooter and tower defense video game, Sanctum 2. A title that is home to a vast range of secrets, including secret arcade games you can activate, as well as a bunch of weird but fantastic Easter eggs to discover, such as this one found on the map known as Canopy. As if you climb upon this beam and jump up onto these branches and hop to the top of this building and then double jump across to this pillar, it is here where you can activate this button which will open up a secret door below and allow us access to this utterly crazy easter egg. Day of Defeat. Day of Defeat is a multiplayer first person shooter which was created by developers Valve and released during the middle part of 2003. The game sports a total of 15 maps that each throw the player into different scenarios, many of which drew inspiration from real historical battles that occurred in World War II. But what isn't real historically accurate is this upcoming Easter egg. Because if you were to take to the map known as Flugplatz, which is German for the word airfield, and wander in this courtyard positioned just south of the runway, it is here that if you take out your bazooka and shoot at this building, then quickly turn to face the moon, that you can witness this crazy secret. After the 3DO company failed in the video game console market with the Panasonic 3DO, the company turned to making video games instead, and one of their biggest titles was a series based upon the popular plastic toy soldiers, Army Men. Anyway, in the 12th game in the series, Army Men World War Final Front, also known as Lock and Load in Europe, it is during the third segment of Operation Scorpion that you will enter the Tomb Runner level. 
and after tackling numerous puzzles that lay in wait, there is one particular wall that rests right at the death of the mission that you can actually clip through if you crouch down and push forward. And by following the secret passage all the way to the end, you'll be treated to our next Easter egg. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm next in the queue. Hidden Dangerous 2. It was in 2003 when developers 2K Check brought us Hidden Dangerous 2, a tactical third and first person shooter that focused on the British Special Air Service and their time spent during the Second World War, but hidden in amongst the action and seriousness of these challenging tasks at hand. They are some of the oddest easter eggs you can find in video games, and it must be noted that they only work for version 1.10 of the game. The first one we'll be taking a look at in this episode is found during Operation Nomad amongst the mission set at the Spaghetti Airport in Africa, which requires you to kill all the enemies, destroy the tank and all the Italian planes, and then you need to enter this office where you must kill the Italian officer. After carrying out these tasks, you need to hop back into the jeep you arrived in and then drive it into the circle of this gun post, and then return to the office to collect the officer where you must drop him inside the jeep and then proceed to blow it up, where believe it or not, after these bizarre series of steps you're greeted with a portal opening up. The screen will begin to continuously shake and three dead soldiers will arrive to catch the three strange looking men that will begin to stalk and try to kill you. Weird. Back in 1993, CL Online gave us a point and click mystery adventure, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. A story that follows Gabriel who sets out to investigate a spate of killings that have been dubbed the Voodoo Murders. But it wasn't until 2014 when the 21st anniversary edition arrived that the developers decided to add in a wacky secret music video. You see, when you reach day nine, Gabriel will travel to the People's Republic of Benin and enter an ancient snake mound on the homeland of the Tetelos where he hopes to locate his uncle, Wolfgang Ritter. And after solving a puzzle and being attacked by a number of gruesome creatures, Wolfgang will appear and help Gabriel to escape through a secret passage in the wall leading to a secure room, where if you happen to click upon this unmentioned part of the wall seven times in a row, then you'll be greeted with this Easter egg. What do you know about voodoo? What do you know about voodoo? It was on August 10th, 2018, and after five years of hard work that a talented Scottish indie developer and modder who goes by the name of James finally released Half-Life Echoes. The single player mod which is set during the Black Mesa incident and follows the character who is simply known as Subject 12. And it is right at the start of the game when you can come across this scientist who will spark up this rather amusing conversation. You are from the Anomalous Materials Lab, yes, I recognize you. No? Ah, hello Gordon Freeman, it's good to see you. I don't think so. Big day today, Freeman. Please. Freeman? 
I really don't know. And if you were to follow him for a bit longer, then you will discover a rather creepy Easter egg. Ah, Freeman. Freeman, 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 Freeman. transports. The entire area surrounding the bridge and camp is covered by numerous machine gun posts and there are dense minefields around the perimeter. Our final secret today and second look at Hidden and Dangerous 2 takes us to Mission Ant Hill in the dense jungle of Burma for Operation Stranger. After carrying out all the necessary tasks and taking out all the enemies, you must then go in to search and destroy three secret skulls that are dotted about the map. Unbelievably, three shaman will appear and slowly make their way to the small settlement of Akiab, where they will perform a ritual and treat us to this very strange Easter egg. Okay, well that's just about it from Odd and myself for another super secret Easter Eggs video, but don't forget to subscribe to Odd Header so you don't miss out on a single episode, and you can find links to his Discord, YouTube channel, and his latest video within the description.